This is Bob from the police 911. <coughs> they had a guy that was protesting the hospital, laid down in the street. Multiple police were here. When we came by, there's like four units. Now there's only two left. All right, how you doing? So, uh, was this staged or something? Was this staged so you guys could film the cops? Is that what you're doing? No. Is this is effed up because I need to get home and I need to get on the bus. Okay, let me explain something to you. I had nothing to do with it. Sir. Sir, what's your name? Everyone calm down. I just need to get home on the bus. And this is like, they're not doing anything to the guy. I don't know yet. They are not. They didn't do anything as well. At been first, standing here the whole time. okay. Yeah, I, I didn't say you didn't have a right. I'm just introducing myself. There's My no name's Officer Cook. What's your name? Mm. What? John. John. Makes you think it's staged. Well, it's it's definitely not staged. Um, and by the way, you don't have permission to film me. Do not put this on the internet. It's going on the internet. And it better not go up there. It will. You can look at. It'll be under Robert West probably in the next couple of days on YouTube. <laughs> that's his. That's his lot in life is to show up and film people in crisis and try to make the police look bad or something. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, and I just want to get home on the bus. Yeah, and we'll make sure the bus stops when it comes. We're we're trying to trying to get everybody taken care of here. Hey, Jimmy, what's up, man? Okay. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Well, have a good night. Okay. You don't. Okay. <laughs> you ever heard the First Amendment? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> How you doing?
Code is the only place that takes uh, people that don't have a court order. Coda? Coda. All C O D A. Every one of them, the Victory Outreach, the Salvation Army, all that. You need to, you need to be involved in the criminal justice system to get. This is Gleason. On Gleason. Yeah, I was hearing her name off all these places, and it's like, no, you need a, you need to be in the criminal justice system and on probation to go to VOA, Salvation Army. Code is the only place that'll take you. But you have to go through the whole process. Right. I've already been there. They're not going to help. Okay. The hospital's not going to help. That's why I lie down in the street. I need somebody who wants to help me now. You know, so, so how do I do, how do I articulate that? Where do I go? I have to go to the, the people, the people's arm of the police. Mm -hmm. Because the police are the people's arm. They're the ones who are there to help us. They're the mm -hmm. ones who are out on the street. They're the ones who have to deal with us. So you, you keep talking or, to or, or us, and I yeah. say us. But you're talking in circles because you can give them information on where to go, who to call. I've been given that information before. Okay. But how come you don't call? You're saying you want me to call. You yes. want me to take you there. You want because me to I feel that you can mit that, that, that you can mitigate that situation a lot more effectively than I can. If I call him, probably not. Okay. And okay. to me. <laughs> you feel good? Yeah. I think that you can mitigate that better than I can. If you talk to him, you're going to be more effective than I probably Because I've already failed. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have you been to treatment before? Have you been, have you been out to treatment before? Yeah, I But I feel that, and I know this by my experience, not just by myself, but through friends of mine who've gone through the treatment process, that I'm not going to be Okay, but you're going to have a much better chance with an advocate through a treatment program than with me. I think you're And it's just. That's, that's what you do. You're a policeman. Mm -hmm. You're the guy I go to. 
that's why I like down the street. That's exactly yeah, what gonna, I do. When you do stuff like that, it's, it's one thing to bring attention to yourself, <laughs> protesting, say, lying in the lobby, or lying in the parking lot, but when you're lying down in the middle of a busy street, you wear dark clothing, you know, you've got, everything's dark, and it's dark outside, you're going right. to get hit and killed what, by what the What I did was I drew attention. <laughs> You did. You definitely did. You definitely did. And I got one, uh, one person. Okay. One person is taking the time out of his day to stand up and talk to me. So that's what I did. I don't mind talking to you. I'm an old anarchist. Who's do this show? An old anarchist? Yeah. I, I grew up in Vermont. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to throw bombs. Do you need to be telling me this stuff? Yeah. Is that stuff I need to know about? I'm kidding. I need to defend right now. I need somebody to stand up. And what that does is it separates. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. It separates the okay. cream from the frog. Here's so what's now I have you. Okay. Now, now listen. Okay. Let, let, let me finish my sure. thought. Please. Okay. Sir. Okay. My thought is this one is that I have somebody that's going to stand up and say, hey, this guy needs help. All right, he's asking, what can I do? Why are you going to the hospital in the first place? I lie down the street. I get Originally, actually, right before the CCC, I get CCC was up. Uh, it's on the uh, front side. It's, um, it's, 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 uh, That's a drunk tank. Oh, so he was done at detox. Probably. No, I was not. You were, it, but you laid down in front of detox. Yeah. Okay, and then, but you were intoxicated then, right? Yes, sir. And they brought you to the hospitals. What did you drink? They uh, said you drank. Okay. okay. Well, my grandpa used to drink that. It made him pretty sick. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh, call a dollar. So, so they brought you here, and they just tried to. So, what we need to do for you right now is to have you go to detox. They have, they have information to get you into the program. That's awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can get you into the program. Well, they have, you, they have, have the resources yep. available yeah. to get you into those programs. Okay. Right. Are you okay with that? Yeah. That's our okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm asking. They, they will help. They, they will help. Okay. They're going to be able to help you much more than I am. I can get you into the program. Uh huh. I no contact with her. Wasn't even there. I called his PO, that's, like that, they said, that that there was a, no contact with her, and I called the PO, the PO said there was none. So keep on filming them. They deserve it. Alright. The place is no good. Part in place, they do nothing but take people's men and violate them. Throw them in jail for no reason. I will help you as much as I can. That's how I'm asking. How much did you drink? What's that? How much did you drink? How big was the bottle? Pretty, pretty big. Let's be realistic. A pint and a half. Great. You know what's So you were in the hospital, and then you got out of the hospital, and then you drank that. Yeah. Stay right here, I'm going to talk to my partner. <laughs> Do you still got the bottle? Uh, big belly. Do you still got the bottle? What? Do you still have the bottle? Oh, hell no. I, I decanted that. Where's it at? What? Your, the, that bottle? Mouthwash? You got me on... On film. Right. I'd rather you didn't. 
Okay, I was gonna say. So please delete that. I was gonna say the uh, mouthwash bottle. Mm -hmm. A lot of the mouthwash is, is if you take if you swallow it, you're supposed to notify poison control. Yeah. So if, my meme on the internet is mm -hmm. a Mr. Yak sign. Mm hmm So I know. Yeah. Well, my my thing on the internet is film the police nine one one. We go out and we film the police, make sure they don't violate people's rights. I appreciate I'm, that. I'm concerned about you because if it if it is poisonous, then that.